dear friends welcome to my video in this video we will see how to fix the error the web page could not be loaded because of this particular error in our web view so let's begin we'll create a new project and this empty activity so this particular error comes when we have a web view uh, in our environment so i'll just create web view error and I will leave uh, the rest of the settings as it is and click finish. Wait for my environment to load. It may take a while. So I'll pause the video. Perfect. My environment has loaded up. So I'll start the emulator also in parallel. And you can choose any of the emulator. It doesn't matter. So I'll first try to reproduce this uh, error over here to see uh, in what scenario we get this error and how to fix it. So the process is pretty simple. I will just go to my layout over here, layout file. And I don't think I need this text view. I'll just remove it by uh, clicking the delete. OK, so delete button. And then I'll add a web view. Web view. And I'll just add it over here. It may take a while. Of course, I have started the emulators in parallel, right? So it may take a while for these things to complete. Okay, I was expecting the web view to come by now. So let's let's wait for uh, for it to come. My emulator is also starting in parallel on the right hand side. So let's wait for the emulator to load up and then we'll try to finish up our uh, layout. So just wait. Okay, so our emulator has come up, but I think it's a previous layout, no problem. So I will try to add the web view again. Yeah, so it takes the whole screen by default, but I can definitely modify it. So it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I want to focus on that error part. So let me just quickly fix the layout part. I'll just give some ID here. And uh, yeah, so still uh, uh, first I will try to see in what scenarios we get that error and then how to fix it. So private, I'm just creating a, a class variable called the view and which we can use in our own create method to associate it with the right widget. Find you by id r dot id dot web view. Uh, perfect. And then, uh, yeah, let me try to load uh, any URL. So probably I can load uh, my website URL, uh, which is nothing but programmer world dot co. I think the spelling is correct and yeah so let me now try to quickly run this code and I'm expecting it will give me that error which I showed uh, here it should give me error this particular error should be coming up so let's wait for the emulator to or app to reload on this emulator it may take a while of course perfect so if you see on the right hand side we are getting that error, right? Um, yeah, so the web page, this, this is could not be loaded because so it doesn't matter which uh, URL you want, uh, you're trying to load, it will give this error, that error cache mish. So it's a very, a bit of ambiguous error. So how to fix it is simple. So um, in today's world, of course, by default, all the apps should have the access to internet. However, uh, Android still expects the developer of the app to mention that explicitly, at least in the uh, manifest file, that the access to internet will be required by this app. It does not, it is not required to seek the permission from the end user of the app, but at least we should mention this. So we have to add this line in the manifest file to fix this problem. So I have rerun this code and let's see. I I'm hoping this particular error will be gone now. Yeah, so my app has loaded up. Perfect. So if you see, okay, of course I'm zooming out that there is no error this time and my website, which is programmable.co has loaded up over here. Yeah, so that's all I wanted to show you uh, how easily you can fix. It doesn't matter, I'm repeating this, whatever you are, you are trying to load, it does not matter. Uh, just to fix that error cache issue, you have to include this particular line in your manifest file. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section below. 
and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye